So I read the article about changing the firing pins, which is a very good description, but I couldn't really get much out of the pictures. So I thought I would make a little video while I give this a try. Of course, the first thing to do is remove the butt cap. As stated, There's little slits in the rubber, you can stick a screwdriver right through there and remove the screws. Um, it was recommended to use the armor all on there, which I did. So you can see the two screws sticking out of the recoil pad. That removed, no problem. And then if you look down through the stock, there is some type of screw down there that needs to be removed. So in the case of my Satori, that's simple straight screwdriver, fairly long one. And once that screw is out, the receiver slides right out of the stock. I've never done this before, and I'm kind of appalled at the looks of the insides of the receiver. Yikes. So let's see what we can do about cleaning this up. Alright, so this is the hole where the retaining pin is and as the directions say, tap this out from the right side, which is what I just did. This is the little pin, Let's see, maybe one side is knurled, that's the side that came out and went out that way, knurled at the bottom and I didn't have a punch and I didn't want to use something hard well I had a punch but not to the smallest as was needed so I cut this little piece of uh, nickel silver rod I was assuming it wouldn't do any damage since nickel is fairly soft compared to the steel components so I just tapped that just a little bit and without too much trouble that pin popped right out and using the same pin I can insert it right where the firing pin is and the firing pin is coming out right there. That's the top one. And now I'm going to, and that pin came right out, that's the firing pin. Uh, I don't think this focus is up too close, but yeah, it's all gunky and here is the other pin that I have to knock out from this side. Okay, so with a little help from some brake free, I've managed to drive both of the retainer pins out as per the printed directions and pushed both of the firing pins out and yes they are all gunky as promised so I'm going to clean those up clean up all over the inside of this thing and use some brake free and q-tips and maybe a toothbrush as recommended and then we'll do reassembly so both firing pins, tops on top, bottoms on bottom, retaining pins, spring, and I went through the receiver, sprayed it down with brake free, scrubbed it out with a toothbrush, 
blew it out with compressed air. Looks much more respectable now. Um, I also cleaned out the holes where the pins go um, with Q-tips as recommended to get the gunk out of there and blew them out. They are okay, that's the hole for the lower firing pin. That's where the pin goes. And you can see the hole right there is where the retaining pin goes. That's the retaining pin for the top. And if we roll this over, the firing pin hole is right there. So it's all cleaned out, oiled up, and we'll do the reassembly. Alright, so I'm going to put the firing pins back in. You can see there's a little notch on the pin. And the notch on the pin has to line up so that when the retainer pin goes back in, it goes into that notch. As recommended, um, firing pin should be reinstalled with a drop of gun oil back on them. So I put a little bit of oil there as I do the insert. I know you can't really see the notch, but I have the notch lined up. So it will line up with the retaining pin hole and then the retaining pin can go in. If you line up the notch correctly the retaining pin will slide all the way in without much effort all the way up to its little knurled end and that just needs to be tapped back in. That should do it. So the firing pin for the lower barrel it's inserted here. This one has the little spring on it. The one from the upper barrel doesn't. And again, you make sure you line up the notch in the firing pin so that it will align to the retainer pin hole. And that will just sneak right in there. Okay, so I'll get that firing pin back in. It goes in right there. This is the retainer pin here. It's punched back in from this side. And that's back in place. So the firing pins and retaining pins are all back together. 
So with the parts back in place, we can go ahead and reassemble the gun. Stock is going to move right back up onto the receiver. like so and the screw will go back in from the end to hold them together and tightened in with the screwdriver so that just goes right in there. I have a regular straight screw. My long screwdriver fits in there just fine, tightens it right up, and we're good to go. Alright, so it's all back together. I checked it. The firing pins come out with a vengeance compared to the way they were before I did the cleaning. I'm kind of pleased with the outcome. And I think I better go shoot some clays. Hope this was helpful.